From Mexico to Louisiana, the Red River down to the Laguna Madre, Texas is one big playground. Join professional bass fisherman and three-time FLW Angler of the Year, Clark Wendland, as he takes you on some of the best outdoor adventures the Lone Star State has to offer. This is Fishing and Hunting Texas. Hey, we just put our boat in, Falcon Lake, a lake that's synonymous with big bass in Texas. And, you know, when we got here, the lake is extremely low. There's only one boat ramp, the city ramp, that you can put in at. But as soon as I put my boat in the water, I turned on my Garmin GPS map 7612, bait everywhere, pretty shallow, kind of in that five to 10 foot range. The wind is howling today, and since it's howling, we're probably gonna be limited to, you know, fishing shallow. It's what I like doing anyway. Thanks for joining us. This is Fishing and Hunting Texas. So the first thing I noticed when we put our boat in the water is, is that there's bait everywhere. You know, my Garmin 7612 just lights up. I mean, lights up with fish, bait. I can see everything. And the thing about it is, is, is you know, we've had a lot of rain in Texas this year, but Falcon is pretty low. It's, it's not, you know, the times I've been there recently, the water's been pretty high, but this time it was really low and it falls really fast. When they start dropping water out of that lake, I mean, it falls really, really fast. But when you looked at it, it looked like you could just fish shallow cover and just catch them. I mean, when I mean shallow cover, I mean there's laydowns, there's, there's not a lot of laydowns, but there's a lot of hardwoods, a lot of wood sticking up. And then there's a lot of rock, you know, shallow rock. And I'm thinking square bill. You know, one thing I really like to do when I'm fishing a lake that I think's got big fish in it is I like to change my hooks and put on the treble that's strong enough to deal with these big fish. I'm fishing a square bill on Falcon Lake, probably one of the renowned big bass factories of America. And I'm gonna use Owner Double X Strong. This is actually a number one. Uh, you know, treble hooks are, for bass is usually six, is the smallest you usually use four and then you go to a two and then number one. This is number one, double X strong. These hooks are extremely strong and when I put these on here, I don't have to worry about a fish pulling off because a hook opens up. I, I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to put a lot of pressure on him, but I can catch him. There's one. Woo. First fish of the day. Just on a windy stretch right here. And we are fishing Falcon Lake, so. Oop. So a little two pounder is, uh, is not all that much to be excited about, but it is a bite and you gotta start somewhere. You know, we start fishing and we catch one pretty fast. It, it you know, on the 4.0 and, you know, it's a two pounder and we go up a little farther and catch another one on a hardwood. But you know, Falcon's a pretty good sized lake. And even though the wind was blowing, I just thought, hey, I need to look at the whole lake. And anytime I go to a place, you know, I, I rarely want to just put my boat in and just fish the creek that I'm putting my boat in. I, I want to experience all over the lake so that when, you know, as I try to figure out what the pattern's going to be, I've got a lot of different samples to go from. A lot of times you stick yourself just to one part of the lake and, and you never get on the pattern you need to get on. I've been out here only about 20 minutes and already caught two, probably missed two or three others. I love a good lake. Well, it's still early, but Clark is starting to put some things together. Coming up, the shallow water bite gets really good, right here on Fishing and Hunting Texas. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. 
You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. Oh, I got it. For 50 years, Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series celebrate a legacy. 50 years in the making. Fishing and Hunting Texas is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome back to Fishing and Hunting Texas. We're with Clark Wendland on Falcon Reservoir. Now, once one of the hottest lakes in the country, Falcon is still a pretty good destination. You just need to be patient and willing to do a little looking, but the fish are still there. We started running and, you know, we, we catch a fish every once in a while. And we tried shallow, we tried deep, we tried flipping. We did just a little bit of square billing on some of those trees. Not a lot of success. You know, we catch one every once in a while, usually on shallow rock. But it was evident to me, you know, I know Falcon's a good lake it wasn't a lot of fish on that cover. And I saw some fish out deep, but I just wasn't getting very many bites. And as we ended up that day, you know, we headed back, we, we got back towards the boat ramp, and I just thought, you know, hey, let's try some of these hardwoods. And we just started getting out and, and throwing a square bill on hardwood. And right at the end of that day, I started getting a few clues. And I ended up catching two or three fish around those hardwoods on square bill. I actually went to a 2.5, Instead of a 4.0, I just liked it, the fact that it came through the water just a little bit faster. Another one on a square bill. You know, I just love a square bill. You can crank it around anything. These are just trees kind of out on a big flat. Let's see if we can get another one. You know, on that square bill, a lot of times what I think about is, is the bait deflecting off stuff. And what I want it to do is deflect and deflect a lot. So you can't be scared to cast it in heavy cover. You can't throw it in the middle of a bush because it's obviously going to not do very well. But when you're coming around those lay down logs and those, those trees that are just, you know, a tree with a few branches, you can wind it right through there. And 95% of the time, it's not going to get hung. Oh! How many times are you gonna jump? How deep he ate that plug. All right. That's a good one right there. You know, everybody thinks that finding fish, you know, I'm just gonna come out here and just find them just real easily. Finding fish takes time. And doesn't matter what you're doing, what lake you're fishing, it takes time. And you know, I haven't fished this lake in a long time. Any place I go, fishing tournaments or just fishing for fun, it takes time to find fish. And you, 
you've got to let every bite tell you something. Every, you know, fish in an area and not catch anything tell you something. And then hopefully you get more dialed in. We've started getting more and more bites today. I feel like we've got a little something going. We're going to come back tomorrow, see if we can really catch them. Stay tuned. Now, if you've got a question for Clark, you can reach out to him on the Fishing and Hunting Texas Facebook page or look up his blog at fishingandhuntingtexas.com. Every time we go fishing, you know we got to tie one on. In all honesty, when do I not tie one on? <laughs> Every time I go in the water, I love to tie one on. Every day of the week, I like to tie one on. You may not know this about me, but every once in a while, I've been known to tie one on. Come on, man. Join the Stray King team. All you got to do, tie one on. <laughs> I think I always tie one on. I love being out here on the tour. It's all about chasing the unseen in the toughest conditions. My gear is my edge, my advantage. It's what keeps me at the top of my game, year after year. Wiley X, with removable gaskets to block wind, dust, and peripheral light. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. This portion of Fishing and Hunting Texas is brought to you in part by Cabela's. It's in your nature by Strike King and by Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back. We're in deep south Texas on Falcon Reservoir, long known as one of the best big fish lakes in Texas. In 2008, the Bassmaster Elite Series was held here and Paul Elias won, setting the four-day tournament record with a total weight of 132 Little pounds, guy. eight ounces. Up there pretty shallow. Now, we're not on a fish like that today, but they still swim here. And with the right tools and knowledge, you can still catch a good bag. You know, boat controls everything in wind like this. It's just tough because, you know, you're getting blown into the trees, you're getting blown around, hitting trees, but catching fish. The area we were fishing in wasn't gigantic, and so I didn't think there was just a large quantity of fish right there. I thought I was gonna have to move around. So I take off, I run down the lake about 10 miles. The very first stretch I pull up on, it's got a lot of hardwoods on it. I start cranking, and pretty quick into the day, I catch a four pounder. And when I say pretty quick, I mean about five minutes into the day. There's one. Oh, I can't even get that one in here. So big. Look at that, we've been fishing. Five minutes. And the wind, the wind's blowing pretty hard. That's the only bad thing. When you're, when you're in trees like this, when the wind's blowing, it's just hard because it's bumping you into stuff and it's hard to fish, but maybe that's some indication of what we're gonna catch today. God, the light's beautiful right here, man. Look at the light on that fish, that's awesome. So then we start working through that stretch and we just start catching. I mean, one after another, after another, fish after There's fish. One. And I got in a couple little stretches where, I mean, it was, I mean, it was every cast. And I'm talking about in two to four foot of water. Oh, get in here. Choked it. Oh. 
You know, a lot of times when you're sh cranking shallow wood, what happens is, is it's kind of all about angles. I like angles. You know, you're looking for angles. You see there's a lay down tree right here. Well, the problem with that lay down tree is, is that it doesn't give you a good way to cast the way I was coming into it. So now I've kind of worked around it and I can work more down it, make cast good into it. You know, I could cast on the end good and my suspicion is, is there's probably one right in the center of it and I may end up flipping it. But what you try to do is, is just kind of work those angles. It's all about the way that bait goes by the fish. What he's doing is, is he's just gonna bite it when it comes by him, but it's gotta come by him the right way. I'm gonna flip this tree, see if I can catch one. But just remember, it's all about angles. Got him. He wasn't right in the center of it. Throwing a Strike King Hack Attack Heavy Cover Jig. Got a big old giant hook on it. Good weed guard. Not a giant one, two pounder. I still bet you there's another one in there, and I'm going to see if I can get him too. There he is. A good one here. Nah, not as big as I thought. I mean, a nice one. <laughs> I always tell people when you're unhooking fish, the thing you got to do is you try to immobilize that bait. If you grab the bait, a lot of times you can get the fish a lot easier. Not a bad fish. You know, you talk about Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake is a lake that has just had an unbelievable run over the past, say six, eight, 10 years. And what's been going on with it is, is that, I mean, there's just so much bait here and the water fluctuates a lot. You see all this cover that we've been fishing. It's not real thick, but when the water comes up high, there's all kinds of stuff that gets flooded. And as soon as it goes back down, all that stuff starts growing again. That brush just grows and grows and grows. So there's always good cover for those fish to spawn around. There's always tons of bait. This lake is just one of those lakes that's just blessed with a lot of bait. Coming up, we'll wrap up things from Falcon Reservoir and then take a look at the gear that made it happen right here on Fishing and Hunting Texas. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. This portion of Fishing and Hunting Texas is brought to you in part by TH Marine, by Engel Coolers, a legend in reliability, and by Power Pole, swift, 
silent, secure. Welcome back to Fishing and Hunting Texas from Falcon Reservoir, an 83,000 acre impoundment on the Rio Grande River. You know, when we came away from Falcon, the thing that I kind of decided was, you know, it wasn't a good first day, but our second day, I mean, I would have called it a great day. We only fished for about five or six hours that day. We caught them square billing, which is one of my very favorite ways to fish. And, you know, I, I came away thinking it was a really good day. The crankbait was definitely the key. Oh, everyone. God. Ah! Oh, really? Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a falcon like good one. Come on. And what happened yesterday? Oh, that guy. <laughs> what happened yesterday is, is really most of the day didn't go that great. But right at the end of the day, we started catching them. And when we started catching them, I kind of thought, well, let's come back today, get out here, get on some of these wood flats kind of thing I love to do. Throw a big square bill. Yeah, that ain't no little one there. <laughs> We're gonna get a picture of this, let him go. You know, you're fishing any lake you haven't been to in a while. One thing you do is, is you just gotta cover water. Yesterday, we found some fish. We fished just the afternoon. We ran all over this place. We fished shallow, deep. It wasn't like we caught them everywhere. We, you know, we caught six or seven, had a five pounder right at the end of the day. My thought was, all right, hey, we got something going. This happens to me in tournaments all the time. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta get a bite somehow. And so we started getting bites. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe we can make that work. We didn't have all that much time to fish today. We pulled up on a stretch of wood and they were biting. It was good. Ended it with a, you know, six or seven pounder, caught, you know, say 20, 25 fish. I would have called it a great day. Had some other decent ones in there. And so, you know, it wasn't like Falcon eight pounder, eight pounder, eight pounder, but hey, it was a good, great fishing day. We enjoyed bringing it to you. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I want to talk about my tackle setup. You know, when I got here, I was thinking I'd probably be able to catch fish a variety of ways. And I probably could. We had a lot of wind and the square bill ended up by far outproducing any other bait we had. We caught a few on a hack attack, heavy cover jig, but for the most part it was a square bill. I want to talk about my bait. This bait's a Strike King KVD 2.5, and I started, when I first got here, I started with a 4.0. It's a new bait by Strike King. It's a little bit bigger profile. Falcon's got big fish. I was thinking big, and I caught some on it, but I ended up liking the depth of 2.5 runs a little bit better. What happens with a square bill is, is when it comes through the water, it doesn't just track like this really straight. It actually comes and it kind of corrects and it corrects and it corrects and it corrects and it corrects. And it's always jumping. It, it kind of jumps like that when you see it go through the water. And that's what triggers strikes. It jumps off rocks, it jumps off wood also, but it also jumps on its own. So a lot of times with a square bill, you can catch them whether it's, you know, you're hitting something or you're not hitting something. My rig up here is I replaced my hooks. I've got a number two owner, ST36, a great, very sharp, strong treble. I love the hooks, the 2.5, and then my line set up, and the line was pretty critical. I'm using Sunline 16 pound shooter fluorocarbon. It's a very abrasion resistant fluorocarbon. It gets down through the water good because it's a dense line. It actually sinks in the water, so I like cranking with fluorocarbon. The, the bites, a lot of times I'd hook those fish and they'd be in that tree and I could, I could just hang on. I didn't have to pull real hard and then finally they'd come free. I don't think I ever lost one that got hooked in a tree like that. As far as my rod goes, 
I want to show you. Um, this is a Tournament ZX, but the key is, is that it's a crankshaft rod. It's a composite cranking rod that's made for cranking, and it's not a real, real sensitive rod. It's a, it's a rod that when you get a bite, you won't feel the fish quite as good, and you notice a lot of those fish had that bait deep down in their throat. As far as my reel goes, I like cranking that speed bait there on a 6.3 to 1. This is a Cabela's Arachnid. And so that's my tackle setup. You know, when I think about square bills, I think about watercolor. I liked it when I see the watercolor be clear, fairly green, but just a little dirtier than just really clear, where I can't see my bait all the way in. When they're shallow, they'll bite the heck out of it. Square bill cranking, that's a fun way to fish. If you've got a question for Clark, reach out to him on the Fishing and Hunting Texas Facebook page. You can also check in on his blog or watch your favorite episodes at fishingandhuntingtexas.com. Fishing and Hunting Texas is a CareCo TV production.